Well, we are on World Cup watch this midday as we wait to see if North Texas lands one of the largest sporting events in the world. FIFA will announce the host for the 2026 World Cup and we are in the running. Monica Paul, the executive director, director of the Dallas Sports Commission, is joining us to talk all about this exciting possibility, opportunity, all the things. Thank you for being with us, Monica. Oh, thank you for having me. It's a big day here uh, in, in the city. I'm, I'm glad it's finally here. Okay, look, I heard you on our show early. We was all up early this morning. And let me tell you something. Are you a little nervous about it? I can kind of sense a little nervousness. I, I'm a little nervous, uh, but actually as the day goes by here, I'm starting to get a little bit more excited, <laughs> like way excited for this opportunity and this announcement to happen. And uh, I just, uh, I don't know. I, I'm not trying to jinx this or anything, but I've got to believe that we're going to have to see our name up on that broadcast. And we are believing right along with you. So listen, the FIFA could uh, select Dallas as a whole city for the 2026 World Cup, but this is a regional bid, right, with at and Stadium possibly getting the games? Uh, absolutely. So at and Oh boy, we lost Monica there. Look, we have so much information that we want to bring you about this. And it's such an exciting opportunity for uh, North Texas, Dallas, Arlington, of course. FIFA will announce this, uh, have this announcement later on. And I think we have Monica back. Monica, where, or, do we have you, Monica? Yes, I'm here. Okay, yes. Okay, so tell us what you were about to say about AT&T Stadium. Uh, I, I was just uh, telling you that uh, from a base camp and a training venue, we have venues all over the Metroplex. Uh, uh, there's going to be fan fest taking place in, in all of the uh, different cities. Um, so it truly is a regional bit to make this World Cup a success and the legacy that we want to see it uh, uh, get to. Now, this event will bring people from literally all around the world right to North Texas. What kind of economic and employment boost could we be looking at for an event that size? Yes, we're de this is definitely putting uh, Dallas and all of North Texas on a global stage. We're looking at over $400 million economic impact. And keep in mind, we're only going to know the host cities to them. We're not going to know how many matches, what level of matches. Do we get that final? Is the International Broadcast Center a possibility here, which will then... We'll, we'll continue to monitor the economic impact, but it's our goal to, to host at least six uh, yeah. plus matches here with the Metro Club. Very important there. Look, later today, there's an announcement party happening at AT&T Discovery District right here in Dallas. When is that and what is the energy, the energy going to be like out there? Oh, that's all right. Look, you guys, I can honestly tell you. I know Monica was excited to have this interview with us. It froze. You guys know how technology works. We will be watching for this announcement as far as those details and how you can get involved with that watch party. I'll be sure to clip that information and find it for you. Maybe post it on my Twitter account. You can find the latest, of course, on WFAA.com.